Hi guys, it's been a while and today I will show you how my engine changed in a few weeks and mostly I was fixing bugs and also made animation work properly finally and also I improved the lighting so I hope you will enjoy today's video. I was also working a lot on fixing Windows versions, so I hope you can do download the last version and uh, check it out if you want. I also made here small uh, like pop-up uh, that can help you to navigate yourself in uh, my engine and launch the levels correctly. Uh, for my current version, I'm not sure if I can uh, load a 2D level properly, uh, but yeah, seems, seems it works, so yeah, um, um, okay, let's let's start it, uh, I will I will launch my 3D uh, level, and we can see that now I have a new object that is kind of a surface, I thought that it will be uh, easier to see how my uh, point lights behave and um, yeah so now the scene has only direct lighting I also improved uh, the UI functionality for this um, and we can like select uh, whether we want to check out direct lighting or um, the point light now we have we see that amount is zero so we see nothing okay um, I can move uh, my um, source of direct lighting and probably it is it is acting like okay I mean I, I was trying to make it as simple as possible because I know nothing about physics but I was trying to read articles and understand my uh, and to uh, get uh, familiar with it and uh, it, it seems to be fine uh, yeah I can also change color and it also uh, acts as I uh, think it should let's make it like whitish I will now move around uh, objects, so in the future we can see them uh, with the lights more properly. Uh, yeah, also I will show a bit how animations were improved. We can select an animation window and uh, we can of course uh, change speed and I can select from the list of animations that I'm defining in the CPP uh, code and uh, yeah they're being uploaded uh, when the level is in initialized and uh, yeah we can just then select how our bones gonna trans transform and I really like the result it is uh, amazing I am I'm super happy uh, we just saw directional lighting we can disable it and we see that uh, the whole scene become uh, dark because uh, no light uh, hits our objects right so and we now going to add uh, point lights I have a simple functionality for this and uh, yet they are a bit like we don't see them I'm going to move them and yeah they appears appears they uh, they are also done really simple I am cal calculating the uh, la point light attenuation uh, just using uh, distance from the light position and to the vertex of the object so like as far as you are uh, then less light we see so it's pretty easy and physically incorrect but for me for my purposes now it is fine i am i am super happy with the result 
we can move the second light but the magic will become later when we are going to change their colors so let's one be red you can also see that i am changing the light of my object uh, light source to uh, better uh, to better uh, navigate yourself with what light you are working because this ui functionality isn't the greatest for now i guess so and the other one let's be blue and uh, let's spawn another light i can now totally have four but like it can be increased if we would want it i will also um, turn up ambient because now not everything can see correctly we can of course add uh, directional lighting and everything will be like more <laughs> lit and if it will make ambient negative everything will be really weird it still look pretty dramatic i like it i guess that's all for the presentation and we can go briefly through the code as i said i was using code from learn opengl to calculate direct lighting and also i used uh, this distance squared factor uh, to calculate my attenuation factor for point lights as i said earlier um, i also created a class uh, that is uh, defining uh, some basic stuff and uh, this one was took when i was thinking that i will go through the uh, physical uh, Co correctish uh, way of uh, point light calculations but i will uh, i will leave it to the future uh, investigation and also uh, i'm just uh, defining position and color and also light type that can be for now only direct all or point also when i'm initializing my engine i am also uh, setting up the light and we have uh, directional light variable and point lights array which is also just being randomly set to the position uh, when the project is being created. I guess that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have lots of things in my mind what to do next and I will probably uh, try to implement uh, dynamic rendering in Vulkan. Uh, then I would also like to uh, continue to work on uh, improvements uh, of my engine architecture architecture i was completely destroyed by uh, my current version when i was streaming and uh, trying to improve some general stuff i realized that it's like absolutely not a go for a future and i want to rewrite everything from scratch uh, like i mean the uh, general engine behavior and uh, also improve uh, code style because i received lots of comments regarding it and it like bad enough i, I will i will I, i'm i'm noting everything down so um yeah that's that's going to be the plan for the future and i hope you will enjoy uh, my future content as well bye